pictures. Okay. Pictures are happening. Or pictures, okay? So you're seeing pictures. A lot. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where are you that you're seeing these pictures are passing by and there is an observer watching it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. But the the yeah. what the observer doesn't change. Yeah, I know, but I don't see the observer. I, I don't know how to put myself into you you don't what have to into, you know. Well, because that's not because pictures are here. Okay. Look, make it very simple. Just just keep it keep it super super simple. Okay? Don't mind fuck with yourself. Now, you are able to hear your thoughts or watch them or see images. You're capable of being aware of them, correct? Yeah. yeah? So you can do that with your thoughts. Simultaneously, you are aware of your emotional spikes. When they're up and down, you become aware of it because it's affecting you, correct? So when some emotional thing happened to you, Let's say your friend or your boyfriend or somebody says something to you you don't like. You know, they're a little bit, the tone of voice is insulting or insinuating or they're not cool. And all of a sudden it creates an emotion in you. Okay? Are you aware yeah, of it? Yeah. You, 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 yes. you, yeah? You're aware something's mm -hmm. dis disturbed you. Okay? So. Yeah. It's the same Susanna or awareness or the observer who is solid, is here. This one's not changing. Is aware of all of a sudden of a spike of an emotion. Anger rises or sadness or fear or something or jealousy or you're aware of some something rises. What do you have to do for that? You don't have to do anything. You're just aware of it, correct? Yes. Now, stay at this place that you're aware. Yeah. Same thing simultaneously is when your mind is very busy, you're aware of it. When you're in a deep meditation, you're very, very calm and quiet. You're aware of it. Yeah. This is who you are. It's a measuring device that is aware of what is happening. And it's and it's always aware. Yeah. This I, I know. And it's like you need I need to remind myself these things, right? During the busy days. But how about the ego? How I am just so eager to get rid of it. Oh, okay. All right. Good. That's Maybe a good one. Funny, right. you know? Where That's is funny. it? Where is it to get rid of it? I'm going to help you out. Well, I'll come. We'll come together and give your ego a big spanking and kick it out. Where is the ego? Where do you find it? I don't know. I think that everything I do and think it's the ego during the day. Okay. But where, well, this thing that is making you suffer has got to be somewhere. I don't where suffer. It? Well, you say it's bothering you. No, I just want to become the. <laughs> you want to become free from it. Okay. Yeah. So we're, we're changing the words. You want to get yeah, rid I of the. Have, I, I don't know but, now what to say. I don't have any example or something. So. Okay, then just stay with me. Just be here with me for a minute, okay? All right. So you're saying that this ego is bothering you and you want to get rid of it. 
Because if it doesn't bother you, you don't want to get rid of something that's not bothering you. Obviously, it's creating some disturbances. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, and obviously, you can't relocate it because it doesn't have a location. So, mm -hmm. then it's, would you be, would you agree that it's safe to say that it's a thought? Yeah. Right. Okay. So this ego is a thought, correct? Uh-huh. Okay. So now, what happens to it when you're not thinking? Nothing is not there. It's I not guess. there. I guess, yeah. Yeah. So let's try it again. Close your eyes and just simply in this moment, bring your attention to one point, whether here or here, wherever. Just be attentive to this moment. Bring your attention inwards. Follow, if that's difficult, then do this. Follow the stream of your thoughts back into the source, where they come from. Where do they come from? Where do your thoughts come from? Yeah, I don't know. This I couldn't do. Okay. So, but can you just look at your thoughts? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Here, just, just stay with me. Don't go away. So you're looking. Well, what are you hearing anything or seeing anything or it's quiet generally it's quiet now okay right so there's no thoughts no okay now what's there then it, it's it's nothing it it's you correct yeah, but who is it? Me. Yeah, but, but hold on. It's you, you're here, and you're aware. Just stay there. Don't get out. Just stay there. You're, you are here. You're available. And you're present. So in this state that you're in right now, is it effortless or you have to put effort into it? It's effortless. Correct. Very good. This is who you are. It's your natural state. You're just being yourself. Now we can create a story. So now imagine that there's this monster hanging around your head, around you, and it's called ego. Imagine it. And this monster is always disturbing you. Can you do that? I see a monster. I don't see it around my head because I don't know where my head is, like in my right. closing right. eyes, you know, so. But you can just, in your imagination, you can create something, right? Yeah. Exactly. But so you create something, something not good, not pleasant, something ugly. Can you create that? Yes. Okay. It's there. It's there. All right. But are you still you with the presence of this monster, this ugly thing? Or you're something else? 
May it still me? Right. So what can it do to you? 